Hi, I'm Graham Simpson, author of The Rosie Project. Um, thanks to Penguin for giving me the opportunity to talk about the book. Uh, it's a romantic comedy about a socially challenged genetics professor who sets out to find himself a life partner, a wife, scientifically. And uh, he constructs a 16-page double-sided questionnaire to filter out all the inappropriate women leaving a short list of, uh, of, suitable, of suitable people. Um, what happens is that he meets somebody, well initially he doesn't do very well with the list at all, but then he meets somebody who meets none of his criteria, who fails on, on, every, on every question. But he finds himself strangely attracted to her, and this is, this is Rosie. And Rosie enlists him to help find her biological father. Her mother had a one night stand at a graduation party and took the identity of Rosie's father to her grave. Rosie wants to know who it is, and she thinks a, a certain genetics professor might be able to help her by doing some surreptitious DNA testing. So that's, that's where the story goes, and obviously as Don and Rosie spend more time together, a relationship develops, and that's the heart of the book. I know that Don translates internationally only because of the feedback from the people who put up money to have the rights to publish Don in, in so many countries. Um, so 34 at this, at this time. Um, and it's been a, I mean, flabbergasted by the, by the international interest. Um, what he will be like on the page, I'm just currently dealing with the Taiwanese publisher who translated, um, her name's Emily, who translated Bridget Jones's diary. So she's clearly very experienced in this field, but how it comes out in Chinese, what the experience is like for a Chinese person reading it, um, I can ask my Chinese friends who can read Chinese, but I often find that they have a different sense of humour, those who've grown up in China, from me anyway. So it's very hard to translate. It's a little like, does green look the same to me and, and to you? Is it the same thing? Does Don funny for the same reasons um, to me and to you? Uh, we, in, interesting that the UK version uh, of The Rosie Project is the Australian version. I don't believe there were any changes made to the, to the text. but. Not, not surprisingly, uh, Simon and Schuster, who are the US publishers, did a complete edit of it and, and actually spotted two or three things that we've reincorporated back into the Australian, hence UK editions of the book. Um, little anomalies, word repetitions, things like that, uh, making it clear that, that Melbourne is Melbourne, Australia, and that's where Don is located, so people don't make the default assumption that he's in the USA. Um, but there's the, there's the usual spelling stuff and so forth, but lots and lots of little minor word things. You really start to see the difference between Australian English, British English, and which are very close, and, um, and US English. One of the words that we had uh, trouble with was, uh, I have to pardon the expression, wanker. At one point, Rosie says, wankers, both of them. And that's not too hard to translate to British English. In fact, we didn't translate it to tosser or anything like that. We just left it as wanker and we figured that the Brits would know what was going on here. It is overall quite a polite book. But the Americans, um, they don't have that word. Or if they do, it's an obscure word. And no genuine equivalent. Um, we kicked around jerk off, which is a very strong term, much more negative than, than wanker. And the idea of someone who is just full of themselves um, didn't seem to bother the Americans perhaps and wasn't seen as such a pejorative as it was um, for Australians in, in particular.